welcome you all to dieselship.com. This series of educational videos is presented to you by Sriram. And this video is especially produced by Dieselship Academy. In this video, we're going to see about the torsion box on board a container ship. It starts from the basic. We all know about a phenomenon called as raking, which happens as a collapse on the picture frame. Let us assume this to be the transverse structure, cross section of a dry cargo ship. And if there are no transverse bulkheads, when a wave hits, the transverse section completely tries to collapse in the form of picture frame. Thus, all ships will have a main transverse cross-section stiffening member as the transverse bulkheads. Along with that, we will have the beam knees over here and the tank side brackets over here. So, why and how torsion occurs? Let's assume this to be the ship. Now it's heading right ahead and it meets the waves or in this direction. Let's say it meets the wave at 45 degrees approximately when that happens and when the ship starts to roll or pitch let's say the wave hitting over here tries to turn the ship this way and the wave hitting over here tries to turn the ship in this way and you can see the forward cross section in this area the wave trying to hit and then try to turn the ship over here and the wave on the aft side it's like this and tries to turn. So when you assume this to be the ship and there are two forces acting right opposite to each other but separated by a great distance that is the length of the ship. So this opposite force acting on different part of the ship tries to create an effect of twisting which is called as torsion. It is for this reason we have torsion box on board container ships. Now, why do we have only on the container ships? Why not on oil tankers or bulk carriers? All right, before that, this is the examination sketch which I made for the exams. You can copy it. And uh, with respect to the tankers and bulk cross section, let's have a look now. This is the cross section of an oil tanker. As we all know, the oil tanker has many transverse bulkheads which have, acts as a main stiffening member against raking and twisting. Along with that, you have the uppermost continuous deck which doesn't have many perforations or opening when compared to a dry cargo ship. So, an oil tanker need not have additional stiffening member like a torsion box. Let's now see the bulk carrier. In a bulk carrier, we have the hatch opening which is very small when compared to a container ship and we have sufficient deck space or the deck stiffening member over here in these two areas which are sufficient to accom accommodate or counteract the twisting or the torsion force but when you look at the cross section of a container ship you have a hu huge cargo hold hatch opening so that you doesn't have any stiffening member like a deck plating or anything like that. You just have a transverse bulkhead separating various holes. So we definitely need some stiffening member to prevent this twisting. It is for this reason we have torsion box located in these areas. Now let's look at the general arrangement or the cross-sectional view of a container ship. This is just an examination sketch which I made it roughly for explanation. The hatch or the hatch cover acts as the main stiffening member and the hatch combings either. They too act as a stiffening member. And here you can see between the holes we have uh, the deep transverse webs. So these two act as a stiffening member to avoid uh, or to resist the raking or bending. And here is the torsion box. Here is it. When you compare all other things with the torsion box, it is heavily stiffened or it is deeply webbed. The torsion box runs right from the collision bulkhead 
to the engine room after peak bulkhead. I mean, the for, sorry, the forward uh, engine room bulkhead. And uh, one more important thing what you have to note is we have the tank side brackets here. Probably these will be your uh, heavy fuel oil tanks or the ballast tanks depending on the ship construction. And uh, the duct keel would, would be a, a probable alternative for uh, the normal keel. And let's have a look on how a torsion box is designed or constructed. Usually here is the location of the torsion box both on port and starboard side and this is deeply stiffened. These are the bulb angles or usually bulb plates which run throughout the length of the ship along with the torsion box and the, these are the webs which are thick enough which continuously run right from the engine room forward bulkhead to the collision bulkhead. And here is the exact view which is taken from the shipyard and here is the torsion box here or the other structures. You can see a huge difference between the torsion box and other structures over here. And this is usually the passageway on the container ship and here is the tank side bracket. And this picture clearly shows the deeply webbed torsion box and the beam knee which is located here. So thank you all for watching this video. For more videos log on to dieselship.com.